friends, myself Subrotan Mukherjee and today I will discuss about the difference between absorption costing and marginal costing. In absorption costing, the opening and the closing stock is valued at total cost that is both variable cost and fixed cost are considered to value the opening and the closing stock. But in marginal costing, opening and the closing stock are valued only at variable cost. Only the variable cost is considered for valuing the opening and the closing stock in marginal costing. PH Limited has a productive capacity of 2 lakh units of product BXE per annum. The company estimated its normal capacity utilization at 90% for 1986-87. The variable costs are rupees 22 per unit and the fixed factory overheads were budgeted at Rs. 7,20,000 per annum. The variable selling overhead amounted to Rs. 6 per unit and the fixed selling expenses were budgeted at Rs. 5,4,000. The operating data for 1986-87 are as under production 1,60,000 units, sales at the rate Rs. 40 per unit, 1,50,000 units, opening stock of finished goods 10,000 units. The cost analysis revealed an excess spending of variable factory overheads to the extent of Rs. 80,000. There are no variances in respect of other items of cost. Required determine the budgeted break even point for 1986-87. What increase in price would have been necessary to achieve the budgeted profit? Present statement of profitability for 1986-87 using a marginal costing basis b absorption costing basis in this problem the first part or the first question a is uh, given to find out the break even point for the year 1986-87 so first for that i am preparing the income statement or the budget for 1986-87 so sales unit is a 2 lakh into 90 percent so 2 lakh is the full capacity at which the production can be made and for that year the actual capacity was at 90%. So 1,80,000 units. So the sales is X budgeted sale 1,80,000 into 40. This gives 72 lakhs. So variable cost is 22 rupees is the production cost and 6 is the uh, variable selling cost so into so 28 into 1 lakh 80 thousand is 50 lakh 40 thousand so variable cost is 50 lakh uh, 40 thousand and contribution is the difference of sales and the variable cost which is 21 lakh 60 thousand so less fixed cost so less fixed cost so uh, fixed production cost is 7 lakh 20 thousand and selling and distribution over it is 5 lakh 4 thousand so total fixed cost comes to 12,24,000 and the budgeted profit is 9,36,000. So we can easily find out the break even point. So what is the break even point? BEP sales or BEP in units. So this is calculated by the formula fixed cost by contribution per unit by contribution per unit so we have a fixed cost of uh, 12 lakh 24 thousand contribution per unit means this is sales price minus variable cost so sales price is 40 rupees per unit minus variable variable cost is 28 that is 22 rupees production cost and 6 rupees is the selling cost a selling variable over it so this will give you one lakh two thousand units so this is one answer next uh, part is calculation of selling price per unit to achieve the budgeted profit so you need to calculate what is what should be the selling price per unit so what is the budgeted profit we have just calculated so budgeted profit is nine lakh thirty six thousand at your fixed cost fixed cost is 12 lakh 24 thousand and variable cost is 42 lakh so uh, 1 lakh 50 thousand units has been sold actually 
into 28 so this will give you 42 lakhs so this is the estimated selling price that to be cal which, which is to be uh, collected from the customer so first is the budgeted profit then variable cost and the variable cost so these are the three components that will give you the estimated sales price estimated selling price so estimated selling price is 63 lakh 60,009 lakh 36,000 is the budgeted profit 12 lakh 24,000 is the fixed cost and variable cost is 42 lakh so estimated sales price is 63 lakh 60,000 so therefore selling price per unit selling price per unit is 63 lakh 60,000 divided by number of units sold that is 1 lakh 50,000 so this will give you 42.40 so therefore uh, increase in selling price increase in selling price per unit should be 42.40 minus 40 so your actual selling price is 40 rupees so your estimated sales price is 42.40 so 2.40 should be increase in your sales price in order to earn in order to earn the profit or budgeted profit so uh, for so for third uh, part of the question so uh, I am preparing a small working so to determine the cost of production for absorption costing for the year 1986-87 so variable cost was given as 22 and the fixed cost per unit so production uh, overhead is a fixed production overhead 7,20,000 and the estimated unit of production was 1,80,000 so um, rupees 4 so 26 rupees per unit is the cost of production under absorption costing so in absorption costing in order to value the opening stock and the closing stock both variable cost as well as fixed cost will be considered and another working a small working that i will prepare is the opening stock all of you know opening stock add production is equal to sales minus closing stock plus closing stock so your opening stock is given as 10,000 plus production is 1,60,000 sales is 1,50,000 plus closing stock so your closing stock is 20,000 units so these are the two small workings that I have prepared now uh, the first part uh, the cost set under absorption costing so cost of production variable cost is 160000 into 22 this gives 3 lakh 35 lakh 20000 and increasing cost so there is a escalation of variable cost or increase in cost is 80000 which is given in the question so your variable production overhead is 36 lakhs at fixed production cost fixed cost is seven lakh twenty thousand so your production cost will be forty three lakh twenty thousand and opening stock so first uh, item is your uh, in the cost sheet is prime cost then factory cost then cost of production so in this question we have direct calculated the cost of production so thereafter you you have to find out the add opening stock of finished goods and closing stock of finished goods to arrive at cost of goods sold so add opening stock of finished goods so in the question it is given there were 10,000 units and I have just calculated in the working 26 is the cost of production so variable this is 2,60,000 in absorption costing both uh, the fixed cost uh, both the opening stock and the closing stock is valued at variable cost and fixed cost that is at total cost and closing stock is valued as so what is your cost of production 43 lakh 20 thousand and how many units were produced 1 lakh 60 thousand units were produced 
and how many closing stock units were there in the closing stock 20000 so 43 lakh 20000 divided by 1 lakh 60000 units into 20000 units is 5 lakh 40000 so the difference in the value of opening stock and the closing stock is 2 lakh 80000 so this will be subtracted from the cost of production to arrive at cost of goods sold so this is 40 lakh 40000 then and selling over it so it has two part so variable cost is 1 lakh 50000 units has been sold into 6 so this is rupees 9 lakh add uh, fixed selling over it fixed selling over it this is given as 5 lakh 4000 so cost of sales so cost of sales is 54 lakh 44000 add profit which will be the balancing figure this will be your balancing figure and your sales 1 lakh 50000 into 40 rupees is 60 lakh so your profit will yours 5 6 lakh 56000 6 lakh 56000 so this is the cost sheet under absorption costing in one sheet so first cost of production variable cost and increase in cost is 36 lakh then fixed cost 7 lakh 20 thousand cost of production 43 lakh 20 thousand add opening stock of finished goods 2 lakh 60 thousand less closing stock of finished goods 5 lakh 40 thousand so cost of goods sold is 40 lakh 40 thousand add selling over it 9 lakh variable selling over it and then fixed selling over it so uh, cost of sales is 54 lakh 44 thousand and sales is 60 lakh so difference in the sales and the cost of sales is the profit so cost it under marginal costing your sales is 60 lakh less variable cost of production so cost of production is variable cost of production per unit is 22 so 1 lakh 60 thousand into 22 is 35 lakh 20 thousand add increase in cost 80 thousand so your variable cost of production is 36 lakhs add opening stock so opening stock uh, is valued at your variable cost of production that is 22 rupees so 22 into uh, 10,000 is 2 lakh 22,000 and closing stock will be valued at cost of production so 36 lakh is your cost of production for the current year divided by number of unit is 1 lakh 60,000 into 20,000 is the closing stock in unit so your closing stock valuation is at 4 lakh 50,000 so variable cost of production variable cost of production is 33 lakh 70,000 and uh, so this is your variable cost of so variable cost of production is 33 lakh 70,000 and variable cost of selling over it this is 1 lakh 50,000 into 6 so this will give you 9 lakh so total variable cost therefore total variable cost total variable cost is 42 lakh 70000 so sales is 60 lakh less variable cost 42 lakh 70000 will give you contribution so your contribution is 17 lakh 30000 less fixed cost so contribution is 17 lakh 30000 less fixed cost production fixed cost of production is 7 lakh 20000 and fixed cost of selling overhead is 5 lakh 4000 so total fixed overhead is 12 lakh 24000 and profit is the difference of contribution and fixed cost is 5 lakh 6000 so this is the cost sheet under marginal costing in one sheet so sales 60 lakh less variable cost of production is 35 lakh 20 thousand and there is increase in a variable cost by 80 thousand so total variable cost of production is 36 36 lakh 
at opening stock. Uh, so opening stock is valued at, uh, at the variable cost that is 10,000 into 22 and the closing stock is valued at the cost of production is 36 lakh divided by 160,000 units into 20,000 is the closing stocks unit. So 4 lakh 50,000. So variable cost of production is 33 lakh 70,000 at variable uh, cost of selling over it is 9 lakh. So total variable cost is 42 lakh 70,000. So the difference of sales minus variable cost gives you contribution 17 lakh 30,000 and fixed cost 12 lakh 24,000 profit is 5 lakh 6,000. So you can compare the cost sheet under absorption costing and marginal costing where in absorption costing the opening and the closing stock is valued at total cost that is both the fixed cost and variable cost has been considered but in marginal costing the opening stock and the closing stock is valued at variable cost. You have understood the problem and I request all the viewers to subscribe my channel to get regular updates and I request to see the playlist section of the channel to see the earlier videos that I have that I have uploaded there. Thank you.